Here's a brief tutorial in LinkedIn's updated export function where you can export all your contacts. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to come up here to My Network and click that. On the left hand side, just click on your connections. You can click on the number. And then you come over here to the right where it says Manage Synced and Imported Contacts. Click that. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a delay. If it delays, no problem. Just wait for it. And there it is. It just popped up. And once you see this screen, come over here to the right and click Export Contacts right here. And you'll see two different options, Fast File Only and Fast File Plus Other Data. Fast File does contain your connections. And that's what you're looking for. Go ahead and click Request Archive. And this shows you here, it's asking me for my password. So just go ahead and empty, enter your password there and click Done. And now Request is Pending. When your data is ready, LinkedIn will email you with a message that looks something like this. And inside the message, there will be a download link. Just click that link. And then you can click the download button. And the data will then download to your local drive. It's a zip file, so you'll need to unzip it. When you unzip it, you'll see a number of files inside that zip file. Let's unzip this and I'll show you. There they are there. You'll notice two different files here of interest. One is called Connections and the other one is called Contacts. They're both fairly similar except for the fact that if you look at this help document, the difference between a contact and a connection, a connection is a contact who you have a first degree connection to. And all of your first degree connections are contacts, but not all contacts are first degree connections. Now the significance of these two files is that your contacts file contains phone numbers. Your connections file does not. Your connections file contains all of your first degree connections. If you want to match up the phone numbers, you're gonna to have to match up these two files and pull the phone numbers from contacts over into your connections file. Both files contain your email address, and so that's how you'll know uh, how to match up the records. So a little bit of manual work there to be done, but uh, as you can see, it can be done. If you're only interested in email addresses, then all you'll need is the connections file.